back again with another video today we're gonna do an unboxing to this new release moto g8 power which apparently succeeds the popular g7 power that has been launched in 2019 alongside with the g7 g7 plus and g7 play and that g7 power was a great budget smartphone offering a huge battery and a great software experience for a really good price Today we're gonna do an unboxing to the blue model which apparently is not yet on the market but was a misprice on a website and some people managed to get it and on an auction I was able to get this model. The price on that uh, day was around 114 pounds. Really really good price. But the normal price is 220 pounds on Amazon at this moment. If you can see on the box, we got only the rear back of the phone with the four cameras. And it says that the phone can last up to three days. And we got dual stereo speakers tuned by Dolby. And of course, the blue color and the black color for this model only. Nothing else. Hey, well, we got 4 gigabytes of RAM and 64 of storage and the color is Capri Blue and available storage would be around 50 gigabytes and the date is 21-01-2020 so it's uh, really really new on the market apparently it's been announced on 7 February and expect release on 1st of April but you can find this already on Amazon like I said in that um, black color the blue color that I'm gonna open today probably would be available on 1st April okay so let's open the box and let's find out what it's hiding okay nothing else on this little box we got the phone and if you can see the blue color with a case already applied let's see what else we got on the box let's see it's hiding something inside probably paper paperwork yeah papers papers and this pin to open the sim tray so we're gonna keep it close so we can open that sim tray also we got the usb type c cable and uh, we got the UK adapter yeah UK adapter right here and let's read uh, something let's find out we can charge this phone up to 15 18 watts that's really really great for this device okay so we got the sim pin right here and we got the phone up to three days of battery and we got this um, silicone case I'm gonna take it away and I'm gonna let you see this beautiful color that's it nice color Capri blue they call it and the other color it's um, black only this is nice you can see the four cameras and the fingerprint which is on the back of this device okay on the front let's peel this off that's it really really nice the weight of this phone well it's about 197 grams the previous model uh, G7 Plus was around 193 grams and the thickness well it's 9.6 millimeters coming from a G7 power with 9.3 millimeters and uh, let's see what else we got so the sim tray it's on the left side let's try to open it let's see what's hiding okay so we got uh, well it's a dual sim but you can opt for two nano sim or you can use only one sim and a micro sd card for this device all right 
what else we got on the right side we got the volumes and the power button and on the bottom we got um, USB type C port and the speaker grill right here and of course another one on the top if you can see and that notch actually is not a notch this is actually a punch hole camera on the left corner okay let's turn on the phone that's it moto so Motorola has upgraded the design for the Moto G8 power mm. compared to the G7 power. The notch on the top of the display from the G7 power has been replaced with a punch hole camera in the top left corner while the rear camera moves from the center which was right here to a vertical housing in the top left corner. So from the center to the left corner. Okay, and uh, that's it. It's looking really nice. I like the screen and I like this uh, punch hole uh, notch, if I can say. It's not a notch because notch would be here. But the punch hole, uh, it's on the left corner, which is uh, much better if you want to watch a video. Okay, English all languages okay let's leave it like that for now start connect to the mobile network skip at the moment skip again continue um, next I'm gonna set up later I don't like this accept and let's wait set the screen lock okay let's put a number here or maybe just skip at the moment accept and continue more next next a new way to navigate probably the gestures yeah next see recent apps it's showing you next again go back just swipe left or right because we with this um, give it a try yeah it's working because with this model we got Android 10 which is really really good pretty much stock if you can see Motorola didn't apply too much on Android 10 interface connect which is really really good also we got uh, glass front and a plastic back but the frame it's made from aluminium and it's a really good one 6000 series uh, also the display it's an IPS LCD and the size of the screen it's 6.4 inch with 85.1 screen to body ratio and the screen also it's at full HD with 399 PPI density so it's an upgrade from um, Motorola G7 power from last year with only a HD display and like I said we got an Android 10 and we're gonna go let's go to the settings and let's um, go about phone device let's see what else Android 10 Android 10 version yeah really nice and uh, no let's see if it's working swipe back swipe back it's really good with these uh, gestures device name you can uh, change the name let's move back system language advanced system updates Android 10 so you can update your device we got also gestures swipe fingers for notifications let's see yes let's move back double press power key system navigation so you can choose how do you want or you want to keep the buttons right here or keep the gestures which is more easy for you three fingers press like this would be a screenshot that's it turn it on yeah and it's working at this moment 
let's move this one here okay back back turn flashlight turn the flashlight on and off with two chopping motions try it out so yeah it's working nice nice feature really really good that's done okay let's move back quick capture twist your wrist twice quickly to open the camera on any time wow that's really good I like this okay and if you turn it back you... yeah that's really nice so you can swap the front with the rear camera okay that's really really good another feature and swipe to shrinkle make the screen smaller with a simple swipe so let's try it out and now you can use easy with one hand without moving up to the top of the screen so you're going to want to have um, this small menu and like i said we got android uh, 10 with first december updates and google play system update first of uh, november 2019 actually and actually we got the snapdragon 665 on 11 nanometers moving from uh, 632 snapdragon on 40 nanometers from the previous model g7 power and uh, we got uh, what else not here software Android hardware information. We got 4 gigabytes of RAM and 64 of storage Display like I said and we got four cameras on the back and the dual SIM options This is really good. It's quite snappy It's working really really good and um, Yeah, let's move a bit on the camera and uh, Let's see so we got the setup of um, four cameras on this moment so we got an 60 megapixel uh, wide camera primary camera we got an 8 megapixel telephoto camera with two times optical zoom another 8 megapixel ultra wide camera and another 2 megapixel macro camera and on the front we got uh, a 16 megapixel camera and now let's move a bit on the menu rear camera photo size you can choose from um, many options 16 megapixel recommended and uh, video so wow we can uh, record video 4k if you can see 4k ultra hd 19 per 9 full hd 60 frame per second or only full hd and uh, lots of options if you can see right here and uh, selfie camera full hd only which is quite enough and with the selfie camera we can record video with up to 120 frame per second and this is the slow motion wow this is really good and a quick capture tap anywhere to capture shutter sound assistive grid level watermark off and we got AI settings wow this is really really good and I would like to make a photo and I just make a photo with this uh, Motorola and uh, let's have a look not yet this one and it's looking quite good if I can say not too bad and let's move on the um, Come on, on the video, press, and if you can see it's very steady, that's great again, really good, and look at the zoom, wow, I'm a bit impressed with this uh, device, the camera looks quite great at this moment, not too bad, really, really good again. What's interesting with this device is that we got the stereo speakers and uh, we probably gonna test this out on the next video and also we got the GPS but the downside is that we do not have 
the NFC. So if you want to make payments with this Moto G8 power, you cannot make payments because it doesn't have these options with NFC. That's bad. So we go to Wi-Fi Bluetooth, do not disturb. Moto Audio is always on when you're listening through the what? To the loudspeakers. I was thinking the headphones. Okay, we got the flashlight auto rotate battery saver mobile data airplane mode system update night light and uh, screencast Wi-Fi not connected so you can connect the phone to your TV maybe through the Wi-Fi and uh, yeah that's it we got no NFC for this device and the last the battery which is quite impressive 5000 milliampere battery with fast charging 15 watts and like I said in the box we got that charger with 18 watts so this is quite interesting and uh, yeah we got uh, 5000 milliampere battery for this beautiful uh, Moto G8 power this is an uh, interesting color Capri Blue which from this position looks like um, greenish color and uh, Probably we're gonna do a few more videos. We're gonna do a few speed test, game test, um, and to the benchmark test would be interesting. And maybe that photo video test in the further videos. So uh, keep an eye on the channel. Give it a like, share, subscribe if you want. And um, see you soon with another video.